Hi, high performer. I so love seeing you here. If you want to have more customers and clients, then listen closely because today I will be sharing one of the top mistakes that most people make and how to solve this. This is Maria Linden, mentor and high performance coach, helping you to reach success and fulfillment. What is one of these top mistakes then that most people make and that robs them of so much money? That, my friend, is people are not following up, at least not in that extent that is needed. Earlier, uh, you used to say that it needed around seven touch points before someone would buy. Uh, today, when it's so much around us, I would say it's probably much more than that. But anyhow, what I need you to remember is this. It will take you a lot of time to have a new person know, like, and trust you and then have them buy. But for someone who already knows about you and like you, and perhaps also even trust you quite enough, it will just be this small tweak. And just like with any relationship, you need to just nurture that relationship. And I would say, instead of fearing and resisting following up, because I know many of you will think, you know, I don't want to be someone who just like chases people around, chase people around, <laughs> or, you know, I don't want to, if they have said no once, you know, I, I don't want them to feel forced to speak to me again and so on. And just remember, just relax. It's never about that. It's never about you trying to chase people. No, you should be the magnet. But still what it's about is that people are quite busy. People usually have a lot of things going on. And many times it can really be a help for them that you actually just reconnect with them or just remind them, hey, you showed interest in this. Is this still interesting to you? Or how about, you know, so would you like this? So it's just an offer and they are free to say yes or no. And it never has to be also, it doesn't have to be like this upfront offer all the time, bye, bye, bye. But many times you need to remember that you need to follow up. And um, I think you also know what I'm talking about when you have been interested in something, perhaps you've looked at an ad or you've been standing in the store and then something happens and you get distracted or something with the kids or something shows up at work and then you just run off and you forget about it, even though you actually felt that this was important to you. So it's the same thing for other people. So don't feel that you are being like a pain in the ass or that you are um, someone who's chasing them because that is not where you come from at least not if you're coming from alignment. So I want you to really take this with you. If you want to have more sales, if you want to have more customers and clients and the right ones, then you also need to nurture that relationship by following up, by giving them a proper chance to actually make a well-informed decision. You also need to remember that it's very much about timing. So I see so many people who, who say first, well, you know, this is not for me, or this, this is the this is not interesting at all. And then perhaps a week later, or days later, or a month later, the situation is totally different. And they call me and they seek me up and they say, you know what, I really need this. I came to think about this, or this happened in my life, or I saw my friend. And so it's really about timing. And when it, the timing is right, and when there is a match, this is when they will buy. So of course it will not all people will be your uh, ideal customers and clients not all of them will buy you know that's just a natural part of the process and it's just a healthy thing but uh, you need to remember that you need to follow up so first thing is start following up okay start following up and also remember that the people who you've been in contact with or for example you've had a meeting with or perhaps you've done a master class or profit speaking those leads are much warmer and more likely to buy usually. So it's very important that you follow, follow up on these. But sometimes you can also follow up people from earlier or on your email list, or for example, people who have uh, connected with you a year ago. So you, you just create some sort of habit and system for how to follow up on your leads, on prospects, on, for example, uh, previous clients and uh, so on. So just um, first of all, start creating a habit of following up. And then also I want you to develop some sort of habit and system for how to follow up on these. And this can be as simple as using the sales walls as we covered in the previous pre-training, or it could be, for example, you just setting aside time in your calendar, for example, three times a week to just follow up 
uh, or it might be using like a really advanced CRM system, or it could be just you using like a paper and pen, but still find a system. So you make this a habit and it becomes just a natural part of your sales process. So my friend, that was actually everything that I wanted to share with you today. I wanted to keep it quite short today and uh, just take this with you. Start following up. Let us now da -da -da, summarize what we have been covering in today's training. So when you want to have more sales, you want to have more customers and clients, then you also need to start following up. And what you also need to do is that you need to create some sort of systems. So that is the second thing to create a system of some sort for how to follow up and nurture your leads and your prospects. So my friend, just remember that following up is a loving thing. And of course, for those who just say like, no, like just like, release them, let them go, move on, but still give people a fair chance to make a well-informed decision. So my friend, I really hope that you like this tip. And if you did, and if you like this video, make sure also that you go to www.lindenmaria.com and sign up for my newsletter. Because that way I will be able to send you my latest video. So with tips just like this one, plus also some special gifts and secrets and bonuses that I only share with you in email. With all my heart, may this serve you. And remember this, you have the power to create miracles in your life and in your business.